As the world becomes increasingly populated and urbanized, the need for efficient search and rescue operations in the event of a disaster becomes more and more critical. One promising solution that is being explored is the use of cyborg cockroaches, insects that have been outfitted with tiny sensors and wireless transmitters that allow them to be remotely controlled. And the team at Riken just performed a successful experiment on Madagascar's hissing cockroaches. So let's have a look. Let's start with what exactly a cyborg cockroach is. Cyborg cockroaches are real cockroaches that have had a computer chip and electrodes implanted into their brains. This allows them to be controlled wirelessly from a distance. The team at Riken did this by attaching an electronic backpack to the cockroach. The backpack is attached to the cockroach's sensory nerves and wires are connected to the backpack. There are basically two appendages at the end of the abdomen, one on the left, one on the right. Electrical impulses delivered to either side of the roach have been shown in previous research to be able to stimulate the roach into moving in that direction, providing researchers with some control over the roach's locomotion. But the problem is, you have to provide electricity to the backpack in order for it to transmit and receive signals. In order to find a solution to this problem, the Riken team conducted research on a variety of electrical films that were very thin. They used roaches as subjects for the research and monitored how the roaches moved in relation to the film's thickness. Because of this, they were able to settle on a module that was about 17 times thinner than a human hair. It attached to the abdomen without significantly restricting the amount of mobility the roaches had, and it remained in place for nearly a month, significantly outlasting systems that came before it in this regard. They then came up with a design and created a solar-powered rechargeable system. This system had two sections, the main section containing a battery and the stimulation module was attached to the upper part of the roach's body, whereas the solar cell module was attached to the lower part of the body. The researchers showed, via a series of trials, how the system could use a wireless system to direct the roach to the right, if the user so chose. They conducted multiple tests and they were a success. So, what's next? Well, the next step is to attach as many sensors as they possibly can. Cameras are the obvious first option but the team pointed out that those cameras would need a great deal more power, but that there are low power sensors that could be included into the system immediately. Even if they find a way to use cameras, the resolution of the cameras would most likely be very poor, so we might see other sensors before the cameras. They also think that the ultra-thin solar cells architecture makes it potentially applicable to other insects, opening up the possibility of constructing a robotic insect army that can be remotely commanded. Cicadas and beetles are two examples of possible options, so let's see what they are going to do next. And if you like this video, you'll also like my video on necrobots. Necrobots are a combination of necromancy and robots. Basically, scientists have discovered a method to convert a spider's corpse into a claw machine that can be electrically controlled by the user. So if you are interested, just click on the video.